Today, I'd like to explain the difference between RF TV channels and virtual TV channels. Knowing about this information is important because it will help you to select the best type of over-the-air TV antenna for your reception area. Digital television takes advantage of your TV's ability to display TV stations on a range of virtual channels from 2 to 69, which is much wider than the range of available channels used for RF broadcasting, only channels 2 through 36. Sometimes an RF channel is also known as a physical channel because it's the actual channel that a TV station is broadcast on. Back in the days of analog TV, there were no virtual channels, just physical RF channels. That means if a station broadcast on RF channel 6, it displayed on channel 6 on the TV. Nice and simple. TV stations were often nicknamed for the RF channel that they broadcast on. But during the analog to digital transition, TV stations needed to broadcast a digital signal alongside their analog signal. And to accomplish this, they would use a virtual channel to still display on the same channel that the TV station was known for broadcasting on, but they could actually broadcast their digital signal on a totally different RF channel. Virtual channels serve a few purposes in the digital age of television. Number one, they still allow a TV station to display on the same channel that viewers came to know them on during the analog days of television. Number two, they allow for the use of digital sub-channels, which means that many more channels can be slotted in the given bandwidth available. And three, that means a much more efficient overall use of the available TV spectrum, which has gotten increasingly smaller as portions of TV broadcast spectrum have been sold to cell phone companies. Virtual TV channels are sort of like a set of commands sent along with an RF broadcast that instruct your TV to display a certain TV station on a particular virtual channel that might be different from the actual RF channel it broadcasts on. A quick example of this is in a nearby American city, Duluth, Minnesota, KDLH channel 3 actually broadcasts on UHF channel 33 but it's displayed as channel 3.1 on the TV. Another example of this is WXIN, which is locally known as Fox 59 in Indianapolis, Indiana. Even though they broadcast on RF channel 22, virtual channels make it possible for TVs to continue to display their station on channel 59.1. Virtual channels are a way of remapping and making more efficient use of available TV spectrum. And this is done especially in crowded TV markets where a lot of stations have to compete for very little TV spectrum, especially after all these cell phone company auctions. Now in my area, the three TV channels that I receive over the air actually broadcast on the same frequencies that are displayed on the TV. Their RF channels are channels 2, 4, and 9, and the channels displayed on the TV are 2.2, 4.4, and 9.1. So in my case, the RF channels match the display channels, but that's not necessarily the case. In a lot of cities, TV stations will broadcast on a different channel than is displayed on your TV. Another example from the Duluth Superior TV market is KBJR, long known as the station on channel 6. And while they continue to display their station on virtual channel 6.1 on TVs, they actually broadcast on RF channel 19. And knowing the RF channels that your stations broadcast on is important because that's going to determine the best kind of antenna for your area. Let's take the examples of KDLH and KBJR that I've already mentioned. If you simply chose a TV antenna based on the display channels you see on your TV, in this instance, that could lead someone to believe they need a large outdoor antenna to receive these two stations on channels 3 and 6. But in reality, because they broadcast on channels 33 and 19 respectively, they can probably be picked up with a small indoor antenna like this. This is why it's so important to know about RF channels and what they mean in terms of selecting a TV antenna. And generally speaking, the lower the RF channels, the larger the antenna you're going to need to receive those stations in your area. 
Just be aware that the virtual channel that displays on your TV for a given television station may not match the RF channel that the station actually broadcasts on. When you're choosing a TV antenna, it's important to look at the RF channel a station broadcasts on, not the virtual channel that displays on your TV. When you're looking at a TV reception report for your area, such as on a website like rabbitears.info, pay close attention to the RF or physical channel. That's the actual channel a TV station is broadcasting on. The virtual display channel is simply the channel that the TV station will display on on your TV.